Hey everyone, and welcome back to my second sketchbook tour. It has been quite some time since the last tour. In total it took me over a year to finish this sketchbook again, just like my last one. I think this is my 13th sketchbook now I have ever completed, and it's definitely my favorite so far. Next to classes and my personal projects, it can be quite hard to keep up with. And as you know, I primarily draw digitally anyways. Well, diving in, you can immediately see that I stuck to my cryptic handwriting font I showed you in my last tour. You can see it all over the place for when I used it for note-taking, writing titles or short stories about the drawings. Also, in some cases when I had no idea how to finish a page, I would just add it as filler text to make it look nice. The text would still make sense, but its primary function was to make the page look less empty. During the time I used the sketchbook, I became really confident drawing with fineliner. In most of the drawings, there is still a sort of pre-sketch I sketched out with a brown colored pencil, which I then based my line drawing upon. Most of the time I erased the other drawing after finishing the sketch, but sometimes when I liked the pencil the way it was, I just shaded it a bit more and left it without inking it. I mainly used this sketchbook to advance in a story I am planning to create with a friend. Each of us did a lot of work building and I had a blast thinking about this world and immersing myself into it, so I just had to create a sketchbook with this world at its focus. Without revealing too much of the finer details, it is a world inhabited by elves, spirits and strange creatures set in a very natural, magical and sort of primitive world. The people of this world are very connected to nature and live in different tribes. Some of them have plants or mushrooms growing out of their head, and each tribe also has their own culture. So they live in different types of houses and environments or have different beliefs. No one knows what this story will become, but for now it is fun to experiment with different things and just collect a bunch of ideas to create this world which only seems to be growing and growing. I also tried my hands on watercolor and was quite pleased with the results. I never really painted with watercolor before, but adding some color here and there can have a great impact on a drawing. I used a small watercolor set and a water brush so I could start painting on the go. The pages of the sketchbook itself have a perfect thickness, so ink or watercolor doesn't show up on the other side and it's still thin enough to flip through comfortably. My biggest drawback with this sketchbook was that I used it not so much for sketching itself, but tried to make it look finished and polished. Sometimes this was a lot of work, and I even started a secondary sketchbook just for scribbling, when I didn't want to make something that intricate. I think every sketchbook owner knows this, that after a certain amount of time, you don't want to ruin the sketchbook with a drawing that's worse than the ones before. And this fear only gets worse the longer you keep the same sketchbook. I think what helped me most with this one was Inktober, which is a challenge where you have to draw one drawing every day of October. I drew every picture directly into the sketchbook, which forced me to keep going daily. Inktober was really fun this time too. I used the drawings mostly to progress with my story ideas and also to train myself with human figures. You will see frequently that I use some rather simple geometric shapes in the background to contrast my drawing against. 
It gave the sketches a really graphic effect and really highlighted the subjects too. What you don't see here is that I also played with digital shading over my traditional drawings. After finishing the sketches in my sketchbook, I took pictures of them and shaded them a bit more on my tablet. I'll put a link into the description for you to check them all out. In total, I believe that I learned a lot about proportions and anatomy during the month. When I compare my first Inktober drawing to my last one, I personally see a huge difference. I definitely plan to attempt the challenge again this year, to get even better. I also like the idea of creating shirts out of the results, which I did with some of these drawings too. What I realized during October was also that my drawings became more and more, well, poetic in a sense. I even started writing actual poems along some of these, and I continued doing them even after October was over. Well, right now I haven't done those in a while, but I really liked the idea, and I also realized that it can be nice to involve some personal aspects into art. And I also found that these drawings were most interesting to others as well, as they leave more room for interpretation. I also experimented with some unusual things in this book. Sometimes I taped paper, stamps or folding parts onto the pages. For example, you can pull up a flap with more drawings underneath it or add a bit of story to the book. On a later page, I simulated some notes added to the page by a traveler. I think it's cool when there's more to a page than a simple two-dimensional plane.
So in the end, I pulled through. I finished Inktober, the sketchbook is complete, and I've already started a few pages for my next one. I'm not sure how the next one will turn out, but I hope to end up with something cool again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little look into my sketchbook. I guess I'll see you in a year, when my next sketchbook is finished. Peace.